Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to make flipped classroom work and what are the essential tools required. Flipped classroom adapt student-centric pedagogy to effectively engage the learning environment with the use of technology and media. Flipped learning requires flexible environment, learning culture, intentional content, professional educators. The four elements are called as a four pillars of flipped learning. To make flipped classroom work successful as a teacher, you should identify where the flipped classroom model makes sense for your course, how class time could be spent, engaging the students in the application activities with providing feedback, help the students to make connections between inside and outside class learning, adopt your material for students to acquire the content in the preparation of class, extend the learning beyond the class through individual and collaborative practice. Also, for engaging the students out class time, Teachers should plan before and has to decide the content to be taught, fix the expected learning outcome, decide the technology or media suitable for delivery of the content, decide which mode of information transformation will be easiest for students to access out class time, decide whether to make the videos to correct according to the need of the content to be taught, decide the suitable strategy for making students accountable for watching videos. In order to apply, Flipped classroom model, it is not necessary to be a professional video producer. It is possible to use any source that explains the subject. It may be PDF, recorded sounds, websites, etc. Flipped classroom educators can reach lecture videos from internet sites such as Can Academy, YouTube or TED. But most of the educators and researchers prefer to prepare their own videos. How the video should be? It should cover a single concept. It should be of 5 to 10 minutes, rarely of 20 minutes. It should be simple and clear in the concept as well as language. It should include audios, slides, annotations, screen capture, etc. Let us take a look of an example intentional video. In this video, you will learn how to calculate the area of the triangle from the area of rectangle. A triangle is half as big as the rectangle that surrounds it, which is why the area of the triangle is one half times its base and height. See the triangle which has a base and height. Draw a line and make it in the form of a rectangle as shown here. As you know, the area of the rectangle is base into height. To calculate the area of the triangle, divide the base into height by 2. Let us see this through the given example. A triangle which has a base of 4 units and height of 5 units. To calculate the area of the rectangle, multiply the base into height which is 4 into 5, which is equal to 20 square units. To find the area of the triangle, divide the value by 2, that is 20 by 2 is equal to 10 square units. Hope you understand the concept. A triangle is half as big as the rectangle that surrounds it. In class time, devoted for active learning strategy, when teachers, peers and students are face to face, all the strategy we use in the class or not active learning strategy. To qualify to be called an active learning strategy, the strategy should be created and designed carefully by the instructor that provides space for the students to talk, write, reflect and express their thinking, explicitly based on the theories of learning, evaluated repeatedly through the empirical research. Pause the video for a moment, reflect upon in your opinion which active learning strategy you adapt in the classroom fulfill the requirements of active learning. Write it down and when you are done with the answer, resume back to the section. Let me summarize few strategies which fulfill the requirements are Think Passion, Problem Based Learning, Game Based Learning, Peer Instruction. There are numerous tools available to make the flipped classroom work successfully. Few tools that are necessary to capture the videos. Some of the video forming tools are Screenocastic, Chemistry PZ, Office Mix, TextMix Relay and About Presenter. After forming the videos, it should be placed online for access of the students. Some of the video hosting sites are YouTube, TeacherTube, Screencast.com, Acclaim, Google Drive. Once a video created, it can be sent to the video hosting sites. They can be present to access by using LMS. They are not only the broadcast video, they can do also provide interaction with the students using different platforms. Moodle, Shakai, Blackboard, Versa app, Canvas and Google Classroom are some of the examples of LMS. After the videos are hosted, teachers should have the access to the information such as which students watch which lecture video, how long it been watched, 
how answer the questions based on the video. There are some video interaction software that can provide the information to the teachers. They are Educanon, EduPuzzle, Zaption, Google Apps for Aid, etc. For making online collaboration among the teachers, students, there are many educational tools available like Edmodo. Flipped Classroom help the students to think and understand their own understanding of concepts and develop the competency in the area of inquiry. Following the above context will help the practitioner make Flipped Classroom work effectively. Thank you.